Hello, and welcome to another edition of Athletes Corner. And today we got a special guest, Mr. Jonel Aguero is here with us, coming off the football clinic over the weekend, this yeah. past Saturday, man. What's going on, man? How are I'm you? I'm good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good, man. Glad you uh, were able to come down. Been trying to get you for a little bit, but, yes, <laughs> but you're here now, man. You know, your, your life's been a little, it's been a uh, it's been interesting the past couple of years, you know, since your freshman year winning yeah. the Super Bowl. I mean, for you, how is it, how's this all been for you? Just everything that's been going on for for a teenager. How's yeah. it? How's that? You know, just for you. Uh, I feel like it's been fun to be honest. Yeah. It's been a good experience, you know, especially with the recruiting mm -hmm. process. You know, coaches visiting mm -hmm. colleges. I mean, it's been a great process. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's, let's, let's just circle back a bit, you know, for history, you start off Eastland, Eastland, yes, Eastland Pop Warner, you yeah. know, because Eastland produces the best football players. Facts, facts. <laughs> you know, uh, then you go on after you, uh, freshman year at St. John's Prep, and y'all had a heck of a freshman, you had a heck of a freshman year with that yeah. team. I mean, what was, besides winning the Super Bowl, what was just some of the memories that you had from that, from that freshman season? I feel like it was just the team. Coaches, you know, I feel like it was fun. It was a fun year, mm -hmm. and then it was right before COVID hit, so yeah. you know that was kind of my real first year of high school football, like, yeah. without all that COVID stuff. So yeah. it was, it was just, it was just the whole thing was just a vibe. Like I liked everything about it. Yeah, it was it was, fun. The, the program, you know, the program is also is always known for having uh, putting out great great teams out there. You know, what was uh, what was uh, what was special about that team that season? Because you guys won it. Your freshman year, and then the following year, they won. You weren't there because you, yeah. yeah. But they won it the, the following year. But what was so special about that the, that group of players? I feel like just the communication through the team. We was all you know tapped in with each other. We we all had a great relationship, you know. And our captains, you know, they kept the team close. Yeah. We kind of had this team bond. So I feel like that went a long way. And you talked about it. That was kind of your first year of. Yeah of normal football, you know, the next couple of years, it's, yeah. everything's happening in the yeah. world. It's like it, not normal. And when all that happened during that, after that year, because, you know, you win a Super Bowl, you're like, all right, all right now, yeah. you know, you know, I'm getting my name is out there. People know who I am. So That's I'm going to have a bigger season next year. But then when all that happens the following, you know, the following year, for you, what was that? Did that take you back a little bit? Because was that a time that you probably – didn't play football for the first time in the fall? Yeah, that was that was the first time I ain't played football for a while. I mean, I kind I didn't really look at it as a bad thing. Yeah. Though. At the time I was looking at it as okay, this this is a longer period for me to just get better in my game, you know, make my craft a little better, you know, get bigger, mm -hmm. faster, everything. So I I kinda looked at it in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with I mean Football does so much that it does it, it takes a toll on your yeah. on your body. It also help you because you guys played until you know, your freshman year, you play, you play until, you know, December yeah. and stuff. So th that time process helped you, getting you healthier. And Hill, was that was that the other benefit of that? Yeah, that was definitely another benefit. You know, I got healthier, you know, physically, everything, just nutrition, everything. I just got healthier all around. Mm -hmm. All right. What, what's been um the... This recruiting process, it's, a, it's an interesting process, you know, because, you know, the, there's official visits, then unofficial visits, yeah. there's all these other things that you can and can't do, you know. Yeah. What, what's the most, the, the part that you enjoy the most about the, the recruiting aspect? Probably just, you know, seeing around, going around traveling, you know, my family, you know, taking them places they probably, they never been before and also going places I've never been before, just yeah. enjoying everything pretty much. Yeah. And what are, you know, when you get to these campuses, what's, what are the conversations like with the, not only with the players, but with the coaches that are pitching their programs to you? Uh, you know they all they, they all trying to get me so they, you know they're gonna they're gonna pillow talk me whatever say what they gotta say so they all trying to they trying to get the best safety in the country so they're gonna say what they gotta say you know yeah. to try to get me there so yeah yeah man it, it, is it um did it ever get did it ever get overwhelming or was it was this something just like you know you're just going with the flow not really not letting nothing yeah. none of it affected just you know trying to process everything. Yeah. I mean, it never really got overwhelmed for me. You know, I got good people behind me, good yeah. family. So I feel like, you know, they, they keep me on track. They 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 keep my head straight with all that. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't let my head, head get too big with yeah. anything either. So I kind of know who's real in this recruiting process and who's yeah. not real. Yeah. So I kind of just suit through a lot of stuff. So it's, yeah. it's kind of easy for me. Was there anything during, is there anything that ever surprised you through any of your, your visits or anything? Was that, oh, 
some of that surprised me. I or mean, anything they, that happened during the recruiting. That, I mean, I'll say some that kind of surprised me. I feel like just meeting, you know, these coaches that I seen growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was a kid, I used to watch all these teams, all these coaches on national TV. And now I'm actually getting to meet them and actually yeah. talk to them. Now they're trying to get me through the same yeah. the same goal they put their players through. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and you're, you're kind of you're, – you're really putting on not only for Lynn but for Massachusetts as a whole. And I know you've seen guys that you, you're familiar with or you might have came across with that, that just recently got drafted. Yes, you know, I mean, for you and the, those other guys that are putting Massachusetts football players on the map like that, you know, are you, are you uh, happy with the fact that more – Nationally, people are starting to come to Massachusetts more to find players because there there is so much talent in yeah. the state that you know it kind of gets overlooked by other states, so people don't really tap into yeah. the state like that. Are you the success of the, y yourself and the other, those guys that recently got drafted? Yeah. You know I mean, uh, how for your for your perspective, how you feel about that? I mean, I feel great. You know, my freshman year, there was, I was kind of I guess you could say the only top recruit, me and my boy Pop. Mm -hmm. But now, like, I came back, there's, like, a way more recruits. You know, we got some four stars. We got a whole bunch of kids with offers now. So I feel like that's kind of what I – that was my goal it's pretty much. That's why I kind of left. And I left out of state to, you know, put my city on that, the yeah. map and my state. So, now, I mean, it's good seeing all these kids, you know, blowing up because, you know, a lot of people underestimate the state when it comes to football. Yeah. So just seeing that is just like, okay, we got something going. Yeah, yeah, de definitely. And you know, you you got you 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 also decided to challenge yourself. You went to IMG Academy, uh, playing uh, playing with uh, you're gonna play against the best and you and, and against the best as well. You know that whole experience. Just, just tell me about that that your time there at IMG. I mean, it was great to be honest. I got I better. I got way better as a you know player. You know, I just as a person and it helped me really like realize and help me focus on the game more. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was a great move for me and like, you know, I just got way better in every aspect. Yeah, and you know, you know when, some, when folks go to, when people go out of their comfort zone, go somewhere else and then you're playing against competition you, would, you won't, no, you won't normal, normally see, you know, at what point were you just like, yeah, yeah, I, got, I really got this, you know, because yeah. sometimes you sometimes people have a little doubt, but then when they go and face other competition, they see how well they do, it, and then the confidence builds that it builds some more. At what point during that time were you just like, oh yeah, this is, I got this? I mean, yeah, it was definitely you know a little nerve wracking going into it, you know, but I but I always you know, I like that stuff though. Mm -hmm. But you know, the first time I kind of noticed, I was like, yeah, I got this. I say it was probably the first practice. You know, we got all these top ranked guys in the country. We got uh you know, top 10 players, number one players in the country on my team. I, I went up against, like, I think it was number two receiver in the country. He ain't really did nothing on me. I was like, okay, yeah, I got this. I'm yeah. like, yeah, this, I'm straight. Yeah, yeah. It, it was that, you know, the, 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 that opened the, co the coach's eyes, not only the coach's, but your other teammates' eyes as well. It's like, oh, we found something. Yeah, for so sure. It definitely opened everybody's eyes. Mm -hmm. Just because after that, after all them practices, after all the games and stuff, my recruiting just kind of even took off more. Mm -hmm. Would you say the practices were kind of harder than the games? Definitely. Yeah. The practice was so hard. It was hard, way harder than the game. The game was kind of just, you know, my team was so good, like, we'd just be chilling back there. The safeties won't really do too much. Yeah. Kind of just look at the quarterback, read them. Yeah. And the D-line would just get the quarterback before yeah. anything happened. Yeah, 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 definitely. And you were part of one of the most interesting stories that yeah. happened. <laughs> you know, the yeah. Bishop Sycamore game. Uh, Everything that happened after that game, how shocked were you, you and your teammates, uh, of everything that just happened afterwards, all, all, everything that unraveled and everything that came out about that program? Man, I mean, it was definitely shocking. I mean, at the moment, we didn't really think too much of it because, you know, they were bigger kids. Just, but my team, we was just as big as them, so we didn't really see too much of a difference in terms of size. Of, you know, they was all tatted. We was all tatted. So yeah. it's just like, okay, they just a regular team. And we started blowing them out, and then I think after the game, they were saying, yeah, that wasn't a real team. I said, what you mean it wasn't a real team? I, I get, like, the ESPN notification, yeah. everybody posting on social media. I'm like, so that team wasn't real. It was just 
It was surprising, but it was funny at the same time. Yeah. It was were, like, were your coaches telling you that before you got the notification? or you just No, we got the notification first, uh, yeah. and then everybody just started blowing up everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, uh, you know, a couple of my teammates posted some things on Twitter. They started trending on it. It was yeah. just crazy. And, and also what came out what came out of that story, some of the, the ages of some of those players. Yeah. You, uh, you know, was... <laughs> <laughs> but you, yeah. were, you were reading like how old some of those players are. Did that even? Were you guys just like, well, couldn't tell. We couldn't really tell. Yeah. We just, we was just too good. We couldn't tell. Yeah, it's pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That was definitely an interesting, yeah. interesting story. Interesting thing to be a part of. And you guys also came up here, got the chance to play against uh, Springfield Central, yeah. uh, playing against Pop and. Um, uh, the receiver, what's his name? Joe. Joe. Yeah, Joe. Joe, yeah. Joe. How, how's it just cut for those guys to take that challenge and, and face you guys? I mean, because a lot of teams weren't yeah. trying to play you guys. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, that just showed, you know, the confidence we have over here. I, I kind of like that a lot. And mm -hmm. uh, the, the head coach, Bill Watson, you know, I feel like, you know, he, that was a good move for them to just play against, you know, top guys in the country. Yeah. Even though, you know, they got blown out, but it was just so like, okay, we we got some ball players here. Yeah, definitely, and and also now if you look at that roster too, and some of those guys too, like uh, now nah, a lot of them get, now getting offers from yeah. major programs yeah. too that that are gonna. That, so they see it just shows what that program Fact. has been building Fact. for for a while, you know. And they got you know Pop signing to Nebraska, yeah, and then yeah. Joe going uh, he's going to BC. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. Shout out to those guys. Uh, uh, how would you know you got the decision to make later on and stuff? I mean, what is what are what are you gonna do to just uh, you know make sure you make the right decision? You know, how, in in this process. Um, I'm gonna just keep taking my you know I got my couple of official visits. Uh, coming up yeah. in June, so I got a couple. So I'm gonna just keep seeing everything, everything, you know, all the schools, what they got to offer me, you know, what they, you know, help me with, you know, to get to the league. Yeah. And I feel like that's pretty much it. I just want to go to a school that's going to develop me the most as yeah. a player, because the plan is to do three years of college and you know go to the league. Yeah. So that's really what I'm looking for. Yeah, definitely. You know, one thing I'll say, you know. I was talking to I was talking to Paige about this that you know you made yourself into this you, you yeah. put in the work hard work as you can see me and Todd we used to see you and your brother there when we were at the gym in the mornings all yeah. the time we see you guys were this was yeah. you you were in middle school at the yeah. time you started putting in that work that's like um, that's one thing I could I say I'm like he, you put nothing was nothing was ever given to you you that's earned everything because you put in the work so I'm really glad to see that all your hard work was paying off because man it was a grind for you yeah facts yeah, yeah. man uh, tell what you what you got coming up for the summer I know you got to see you got your season coming up with at St John's Prep but what you got coming up for the summer as far as uh, seven on sevens and anything else you got going on uh, for the summer I me I'm kind of focused I'm just trying to lock in right now mm -hmm. so you know I just got these visits. I got, uh, I think I'm, I'm thinking three visits in June, and then pretty much from there I'm gonna be training. You know, I'm really trying to, I'm not trying to get focused for the season. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get focused for college. Yeah. Because I'm already ready for the season. Yeah. I've been ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get focused for the next level. Yeah. So that's probably, I'm gonna focus on my, you know, technique, you know, my size. You know, I'm, I'm good size, but you know, I'm gonna just keep maintaining my size, yeah. getting faster, my speed, you know. One on one coverage, just learning to play. So I feel like that's when I when I focus on during the summer. Yeah, definitely. And then you also did a great thing with uh, Stop the Violence uh, this this past weekend that you guys did the the football clinic. You know, uh, a lot of kids came out. A lot of kids. You had a lot of coaches yeah. out there helping them out. Yeah. You know, first the first one of its kind for you personally. How were you? Ha you know, I know you talked to me about this on Saturday, but how were you just uh, that whole experience after after that? Putting that together with your family, yeah. with the help of the Stop the Violence Committee, and also the just helping those kids get better. Yeah, I mean it was great to be honest. You know, it was, you know I got to give back. I know a lot of them kids looked up to me, so yeah. you know it felt good giving back to those kids and you know helping them you know better their game. Because you know I know I'm kind of like I was just kind of like the I don't know how to say it, like I was just kind of like. The, the way I kind of led the way, so now I want yeah. them kids kind of look at me and be like, okay, if he did it, yeah. we could do it too. Yeah, Instead definitely. of choosing, you know, the streets, yeah, or doing, you know, things they're not supposed to be doing, they can do sports and you know they yeah. can make it out that way too. Yeah, that, that, definitely. Yeah, it's good for those kids just to 
You know, you just to see somebody in your situation, just to you know, just be around. It don't even matter yeah. if they want to play football or not. Just yeah. to see somebody yeah. you know, there, just taking your time, because you could have been doing something else, but Fact, you yeah. decided to do that, man. But hey, man, continue doing the great work. Continue doing what you're doing on the field and everything, yes, man. man. You, you're doing a great job. Uh, let the people know if they want to follow you. Plug in your social medias. Yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram, Jonah Laguero. Twitter, uh, Jonah underscore thirty three. I'll be there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, make sure this fall, go up to St. John's Prep, check them out. Football season, check them out, you know. And whenever he makes his decision, we'll make sure to blast yeah. it up. And sure. We'll make sure to support him in anything he do, man. My man, appreciate sure. it. All stay right. tuned. Stay championship on the way. Hey, <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first. You yes, guys have been watching Athletes Corner. Have a great one. That's yes, it.